All right, here's a quick review on this 17 inch Chinese made HDMI um, 17 inch overhead uh, display. Does not come with um, DVD, but does has HDMI and obviously has ABI. Uh, didn't know it could get gray, but it's black. And this is an Amazon, so I think it's like $170, I think, without the DVD player. And uh, the car that's going to go into is a Ford E350 white van over here. So we put it up. And my daughter sat in the back and she says she can see it, but we have bench seats, so we haven't calculated well the heads. Another thing I was going to think of is uh, drilling holes into these things and putting headrest monitors in them. And then using wireless HDMI to bring them over here and just get a power source to turn them on. So that's the possibilities. But the 7 inch monitor from this view can be seen again. And the unit is sitting right here. And it does come with this mounting plate. And then it comes with uh, some screws. And um, they expect you to put your the screw that they supply you through this hole. And this mounting plate will go up there. And I was able to clear the light here there's this little hump here and I was able to clear that so you can kind of see if I put it up like that okay so that's good and then the only thing I like to complain about is check this out so this is the view that you'd be looking at let's say for you in the back you press this button and the screen comes out and I don't really know what this is it's probably on and off these buttons are like kind of touch sensitive which kind of is kind of garbage once things get heat up and cold heat up and cold one day i'm sure these won't work anymore how do i know because i have another el cheapo overhead dvd player that failed like that and so my main complaint is they put the hdmi right here usb right here and uh micro SD card right here and it does come with like a small remote um, in the box but I do not like this HDMI right here because we're in North America and our steering wheel is over there and chances are we'll be running a lot of lines on that side just because the fuse and everything over there versus running all the way over here so uh, it would be nice if they put it in the back corner there or any back corner versus the front. And so you can loop your wires and run them anywhere. But not there right in the front. That's like the worst area. I don't know. I mean, even this car was in China or UK where the other scene was on the other side. You still don't want to put this HDMI here. Put it in the back. Or put it in here so you can feed it through this thing. Or just make another one over here. But they put it right there. So it's going to have some wires looking ugly and running around. But other than that, it is very cheap. And hopefully the next cheap one, when this one breaks down, those mounting brackets are similar where I can recycle this plate. Which I'm sure going to have to modify something to make that happen. All right, so that's my review. Um, here's some part numbers. ICE VDO CM one seven three HD, and this is what the screen looks like. You press it down, and it falls out, and it looks like that. And then I think it does have positive and negative uh, dome light, and. I'm sure this one's like constantly power. Um, this yellow one is door positive, meaning 
I think this car might have a, this Ford might have a positive when I check on it. I'm thinking. And this is uh, battery positive. So I guess this is all the time. And eight, oh, so the red one is uh, only when accessory, when you turn on the key. And the yellow one is constant battery, which somehow I would have made the two colors different from all the other installations I did. And let's check out the inputs. So we have AV in. And we have more AV in. And we have AV1 line left in. And so everything is in and nothing out. So whatever you're playing here is not going to run to the head unit. So that head unit over there is a pumpkin. I ordered a 13 inch monitor for it. And um, I also ordered a 15 coming like all the way out here. So it's a double din comes in and a 13 slash this way. And so the 13 is like here. So I think I can still get the controls up with my heater, but the 15 is like way up here. So if I want the 15, I'm always constantly like trying to figure out or get my passenger to figure out this from the side view because it's rough driving and trying to get your fingers around here to make all that happen. Um, what else can I say? So if I'm greedy, get the 15. If I'm realistic, 13. If I'm, uh, I guess, uh, responsible, just keep this. Everything's working here. I just don't have HDMI input. I have AV input. And uh, the other, the new unit has mirror link with Android and iPhone. Haven't used it yet, but uh, I was gonna just use a dongle with uh, Wi-Fi and then just dongle it in, cast it in, and then convert it to ABI so this thing can see the screen. And uh, but ultimately, we want to do karaoke here, and I guess I just need a monitor there to figure out what the heck is really playing and. Only the passenger won't get to enjoy it on the call and ride. They just have to have a little screen to look at. And uh, everybody else would be enjoying it back here. And uh, so the two entertainment things are karaoke, YouTube, and the last thing is Nintendo Switch, where you can play, like, I think up to eight players. And so the man would be way more fun playing a Nintendo Switch. Um, the other thing is the new radio that's coming. I don't know if it has a built-in amp or not because this van does not have a built-in amp. That radio is producing all the amps to the speakers. And that is it. Thanks for listening. And uh, we're out.